we tonight we have a special guest that yes. uh, who will be talking to us and give us some insight into okay. what. Okay. Uh, Finally. Okay. Kun, it's time for Kun okay. Warawut. Okay. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you for joining us and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please, please. Have please. your seat. So, how, what, how, what should I call you? A would be <laughs> leader or soon to be leader of Chatai Patana Party. You're not a leader yet, formally, right? No. I <laughs> am. Uh, I'm the son of the <laughs> former <laughs> leader, uh -huh. and uh, I'm just merely an one of the member I of see. the party. At the moment, my official title is the advisor, advisor. to the leader of the party. Uh, yes. but, but, but our eyes have been on you as the ne next leader. I think it has been on my family name, okay. not on me. <laughs> but can we say you are leader in waiting? No. <laughs> because, um, but I don't see any challenges to your, to your leadership yet. One thing I learned in Thai politics is that if the pen is not on the paper, okay. there's always a chance of things going sideways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So nowadays, what keeps you busy? Politics. <laughs> really? <laughs> and Just politics. recently. <laughs> and politics. Well, okay. before, prior to this, uh, all these uh, political situations that mm. has developed over the past uh, six, to eight, mm. six to eight months has been football. Okay. And uh, prior to that, it has always been my family, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. kids, and uh, well, my family is really is my life. And um, so now the priority shifted. Uh -huh. So one need to prioritize one thing over another. Uh -huh. And of course, politics is right at the top of my list <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. No, but if you have a choice, would you rather go back to your normal life? Of course. <laughs> I mean, if, if anyone has a choice, yeah. uh, you know, one would have well, one would definitely prefer uh, to okay. go back and nice and peaceful, quiet uh, time and spend with you know your family. Uh, okay. But when duty calls, mm. Mm -hmm. a man got to do oh what right, a man got yeah. to do. So but do you have a choice to choose? Can can you choose? I can, I can, <laughs> and I have chosen. Okay. And here I am. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so what will happen next, as far as your party is concerned? What the will happen? The process of electing the new leadership. So what 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 does it involve? Well, originally we, we planned mm. on the Friday the 5th of October. Mm. However, having scrutinized the, uh, the, the entire uh, rules and regulation mm. of the next, uh, well, we are going to have a meeting with the, uh, the election commission, mm. you know, all the political parties, and having scrutinized all the rules and regulations, um, it's making us having a second thought because <laughs> there are so many questions that we need to clarify mm. prior to proceeding with all these procedure mm. um, to come up with the executive members of the party, come up with the leader, mm. the new secretary general, um, so on and so forth. There are a lot of steps and a lot of uh, well questions that we need some some mm. some answers first before we proceed. Okay, and so these are things you never encountered before in the past. Uh, never before mm. in. Well, since I was born, anyway. <laughs> uh, that's I but this has been the classic case where those who drafted the rules and regulation uh -huh. never actually be in the battlefield. Mm. And those in the battlefield never get to, to draft. <laughs> so, you know, it's he say, she say. Okay. And then the referees. The referees are supposed to be involved in the, the games themselves. <laughs> uh, no, no. But uh, now the, the, the rules and regulations uh -huh. are out, so we have to do our best to accommodate because the, the cost of violating those laws or rules mm. um, are very severe, okay. unfortunately. Oh, right. so, so tomorrow, the big gathering, it must be the biggest gathering ever when election commission meet with many parties' representatives. I think it would be as big as the last time we uh, we had with all the political parties at the uh, um, was it the with with the military. Um, mm. There will be a lot of people there. There will be a lot of questions, and God knows how long it would take. So yeah. keeping fingers crossed. Perhaps <laughs> one day it wouldn't be enough. It, I hope it is enough okay. <laughs> because I, I'm sure that most of the questions would be very similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know um, some of the major political parties would share the same. Uh, question, for example, the, 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 the social media, you know, the means to, to campaign through such channel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What should be the limitation? What mm. is the do's and don'ts? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, uh, it's difficult to, to, to control it nowadays. So what is the exact protocol okay. in mm -hmm. doing so? Okay, let's come back to uh, your Chat Thai Patana party. So most likely under your leadership. So how do you want this party to be seen by the public? It's not a new party, has it been is a, not. a household name for many, many years. 
But yet, the leadership will, will, will be under in the hands of young leaders like yourself. Um, well, first you of all... You describe it as the uh, new wine in old bottle. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what is it going to be like? Uh, since the passed away of my father, mm. we cannot find anyone with such caliber anymore. Mm. Not in Thai politics. There okay. is no one else, especially now in our party. So the way we proceed from now on, mm. it's, it's going to be an institution-wise. Okay. So everything has to be through the mandate of the party. Um, I have no... Uh, how shall I say, I don't have what it takes to <laughs> call the shot. Okay. Said go left, go right, uh -huh. and I will not be able to take all responsibility for such decision. Uh -huh. If it's wrong, if it's right, or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it have to be the mandate of everyone in the party. If you're going to go left, you know, mm. if you're going to success, we success together. So no it more top-down startup leadership like in No, America. it would absolutely a bottom-up. Uh, you know, when I, I used to say to all the people, when my father was still running the, sh the show, mm. uh, Shatai Patana Party as well as Shatai Party, we were like a, a pyramid mm. where he sits at the top and everyone follows. Unfortunately, uh, when it comes to the next generation, it will have to be an inverted pyramid where uh, okay. whoever is going to be a leader will have mm. to be at the bottom of it mm. and, uh, you know, kind of look okay. up to all the senior members and uh, everyone in the party mm. to take us all, all the way. Okay. Yeah. How and many members in your party, Chat Thai Patana parties, and how would you elect, how the party will elect the new leader? Oh, I think the, uh, the protocol is pretty clearly stated in the, uh, according to election commission, it will have to be done during the general assembly. Mm -hmm. It will have to be done uh, in, 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 in private, mm. you know. So normally, uh, what we used to do in the past, we just sat on the table, uh, given a, a ballot and just tick, 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 yeah. and just drop it into the boxes. Uh -huh. But now we have to go to the voting station, you know, enclosed space, oh. and tick, 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 so no one would see and then fold it up. It's just like an election. Okay. Yeah. So the, the process would be a bit more tedious. It would mm -hmm. be more time consuming. Mm -hmm. And that is just how it's going to be. But we will not have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the primaries like in, um, <laughs> in the Democrat. We, we are not, Democrat why not? Party. To make it more demo uh, democratic, more transparent. We are not that big. And we are not as old as uh -huh. the Democrat Party. Uh -huh. Democrat Party has a a long-standing mm. traditions and, uh. and structure. Okay. Uh, we are still relatively new uh. compared to them, so uh, we are not as complex uh. as they okay. are. You know, Chat Thai Patana Party, or previously known as Chat Thai, right? Right. Has this very interesting image. It has always been, always been seen as a party that is guided by political expediency rather than principle. Of course, you know the nickname Pra Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> given of course. to the party. So, of course. So so, so what is going to be like from, from now on? You, you, are you happy with the, the image, the Pla Lai image? Well, that, that phrase was actually, you know, it was, it was out of the desperation. It was out <laughs> of the, well, some of the, uh, how shall I say, personal feelings okay. that was mentioned. And then the, the media just picked it up and continued the traditions. But Kun Banha didn't seem, seem to, 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 to mind it. No, because... <laughs> There is a sa there's a saying that never explain yourself. Okay. Because those who understand, who believes in you, okay. doesn't need the explanation. Uh -huh. oh. And those who doesn't believe you won't listen anyway. Okay. Won't believe you anyway. Oh. So, my father doesn't really care much about it. Okay. But do bear in mind though that Chatai Patana Party as well as Chatai Party, we are the only party in Thai political system where we've been everything. We've been the leader of the coalition. Mm -hmm. We've had two prime ministers okay. in our party, General Cha, Cha, uh, Cha Chai and then my father. We have been part of the coalition. Uh -huh. We have been the leader of the opposition. Okay. My father was the leader of the, 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 the opposition parties mm. in, 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 the, in the parliament. We were also the coalition in the opposition. Okay. So we've been everything. <laughs> you mean through every situation? We've been through every <laughs> situation. I mean, when, when the red comes out, they uh, threw bombs at my house. Okay. Um, and when the yellow came out, they threw bombs at my house. So sometimes I'm confused what color <laughs> am I? Am I orange or whatever it is? But, um, is that good or bad thing, being in, it's the, in the middle? It's, As a, you know, it's sometimes... It's a party for all seasons. <laughs> some, sometimes <laughs> it begs the question, why mm. do one need to pick a side mm. before the election? Mm. For example, right now, Right now, we are counting down to an election. Some people are asking, are you going to side with this? Are you going to side with that? Yeah, um, yeah, that's a question you'll be you asked. You will be asked. And then, and, then, and, again. and then I asked back, said, 
you know, the past 10 years, you know, come the 2nd of December this year, mm. we'll commemorate the 10th anniversary where Cha Thai Party was dissolved uh, okay. by the, 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 the verdict of the Constitution Court. After 10 years, we're still exactly where we were. Mm. And here again, we, everyone is asking, which sides are you on? Which sides <laughs> are you on? I mean, can't we just be doing our job? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's a number game. Okay. Who can gather, you know, the max, the, the you know, out of 500 seats, who gets the majority? Mm. Can you integrate our policy into the government? If you can integrate the policy into the government, I think every single party's goal is to be, Im to be able to implement mm. their policies to, to help the people. Okay. And what, what's the landscape do you see this time in the election? And That's what's the role of Chat Thai Vatana Party that as a small and medium Kun Ban Han would have been able to foresee this post-election scenario. <laughs> I, be I beg the differ <laughs> this time. I do beg the differ, unfortunately. I, I sat down long and hard and asked myself, uh -huh. what would he do okay. if he was still around? And the question, and the answer to that was, uh, I don't think he would know neither because since I was born, uh -huh. my father have had never encountered such a situation like okay. this. But do you constantly need to think and <laughs> imagine yourself in your father's shoe, what he would do if, you, if he's still alive? I've just learned a very expensive lesson mm. that what my father thinks, what he thought, okay. cannot be what I think. Mm. Because mm. in order to think like what he did, he had the charisma, he has the, 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 the you know, all the years of experiences and, and, and respect to him. Mm -hmm. What do I have? Mm. It took my father three decades of his life mm -hmm. to assume the leader. Mm. I've got less than one and a half years. Okay. So I cannot afford to think mm. the way he think. I have to think the way I think. Mm -hmm. And the way I think is that I'm right at the bottom of the pyramid. Mm. So I will have to talk to all the senior members of the parties, all the mandates and everything and see where we go. We oh have a photo right. from your Facebook <laughs> and see how close you are with your father. I miss him dearly. Unfortunately, a son will always appreciate how much a father That's loves right. him only when he's gone. Yeah. What, mm. what do you think is the strongest influence that he left on you? On me? Yeah. Just do it. He, 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 the most valuable piece of asset that he, he left me, that I inherited from him, wasn't money, wasn't land, wasn't but it's the, the uh, well, the guts to go forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are, I'm facing a lot of problems right now, a lot of challenges. Come the election, whatever it is, I will mm. persevere through it. Okay. Yeah. What about your mother? Is she still very supportive of you still in politics? Oh, well, she, she leaves it up to me, really. Um, whatever I decide best. Um, you know, I would not taint my father's image and, and his legacy. Mm -hmm. I always say, I post it in my Facebook when my father passed away, is that um, the legend is gone, mm -hmm. but, the le but his legend shall continue. And I would do to my best of my ability to continue such legend. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if I fail, then, you know, I can say that I have tried. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to call it a day without a fight, that's not in my blood. So, yeah. Now you have uh, been quoted as saying that you expect uh, your party expect to win up to 30 seats yes in the lower house right yes and that could be such a small number so you become a mid sized mid sized party that will play a very crucial role in deciding the shape of the next coalition of well you're aware of that. That, that that's a role that uh, in fact your party has been playing all along that you're not in aspire to be big no, no, no. I try to be in the position where you can sort of uh, uh, play a key role in, in, it's in breaking it's not deadlock. It's like not that I mm. inspire to be in that position. Mm -hmm. That is our, our ability. <laughs> we don't have the ability to, to get 60 or 70. Uh, we might get 20. Even those days were gone when you got as many as 97. Oh, those days were... I don't know if yeah. to, to call it a glorious day uh -huh. or a disastrously glorious day, <laughs> but uh, there were a lot of problems. Uh -huh. There are so many factions and everything. Okay. But um, you know, now our ability, I think 30 is the likely number. It could be less. Mm. It could be much less. I don't think it will be more, though, um. because I know, you know our capability, and mm. I don't expect us to be any bigger. And if by 
aiming for that number put us in this position, then uh, so be it. I don't aim to be the key maker. I okay. don't want to be the key player. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's not me. Okay. We cannot help but thinking that perhaps you have sending signal that you would like to join with Palang Prasharat in the future because the image of you were very close with General Prayut when he have cabinet meeting, mobile cabinet meeting last year. Well, that image is still quite clear. When, when a prime minister come and visit, mm. well, he's literally right opposite my office. I mean, wouldn't it be rude? I mean, I just sit there, <laughs> the prime minister there, I just don't go out and say hello. Yeah. You know, it's it, trying to be just trying to be a good host. I <laughs> was trying to be a good host, but uh, I'm also close with uh, with uh, many senior members of the Thai Party as well. Um, I've been lucky in such a way that you know my father has been tagging me along all my life. So I knew mm. I know all the senior members of all the political parties in the Democrat, in the Thai, um, uh, in Pum Jai Thai, even in the military sections. Mm. So. Uh, you know, when they come, I will, of course, I will have to go and greet them. Yeah. Especially when he's right opposite my office. I, I, I can't just sit there and say, you know, <laughs> you go and do your own business. It'll be absolutely rude. And it wasn't supposed to be any special meaning to that. No, no. Um, my father wouldn't, wouldn't like it if I just sit there and do uh, nothing. And he himself would have been there to welcome. Well, of course, welcome. of course. Oh, On many occasions in the past, okay. he welcomed uh, General Prem. He welcomed yeah. even uh, the former Prime Minister, Ying Lak, as well. So. You know, he. We are trying to be a good host, basically. Mm. Yeah. So Nothing more. How are you and your party prepare for a situation in which the nomination process of the next prime minister, I mean, becomes deadlocked, and none of the nominees in the in the list of the potential prime minister makes it to the final round, <laughs> and then someone, a so-called outsider, has to step in. How? What? What would be your stand? That will have to be voted in the parliament. Mm. I think we are trying to run before we can walk. Mm. Uh, at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, I am trying to ascertain the fact that the, the, the election on the 24th of February, mm. the mechanism of it, mm. um, after 24th of February, it will be the whole new ball game. Mm. But at the moment, I'm trying to plan my life until that D-Day. Oh, uh -huh. uh, by just doing that alone has occupied 110% of my life already. <laughs> and whatever happens after 24th okay. of February, well, that's, played, that's played another game. Played by ears. Played by <laughs> ears. One can't make such uh, a what-if scenario because okay. by making such scenarios, you mm. can come up with a really bad outcome. Mm. What if this? What if that? What if the world ends tomorrow? What I if, mm. you know, uh, and, and meteor come and hits Thailand okay. on the 25th of February? Mm. <laughs> it's always a what if situation. Politically, is Supanburi your priority? Uh, the area in your heart always? It's my home. It's my home. Mm. But should I have to take the, the helm of the ship, mm. then the priority would be, well, all those people that's in the political party, mm. not just Supanburi. Um, if I have to take the big chair, then you know, up north, northeast, southern part, uh -huh. central plain, I will have to go and visit all of them. Mm. So, well, at the end of the day, Thailand is my home, is my motherland. Mm. Mm. And how do you see the role of young politician, new faces in this election? Do you believe in the power of new generation? We consider you to be one of them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a big thank you. I mean, I, I always jokingly say is that um, you know, if the election is postponed for a few more years, then I will not be classified. <laughs> as an anymore. You still I'm have time. I'm I'm the youngest in the old faces. Okay, okay. And That's good I enough. Think I'm the oldest in the young faces. <laughs> so if Kuntanat, you can belong to either group then. <laughs> I, I'm a bit of a hybrid actually, um, but I I'm very glad to see such dynamic, such energy from mm. all the new faces that enters into Thai politics, mm. into the arena. It only shows the, the interests that the newer generations are paying mm. to what is really going on in this country of ours and their desire to see a better future yeah. of, of Thailand. It's, mm. it's, always, uh, it's always good to have a change. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think is the biggest challenge I mean, facing Thailand right now? Challenge that you want to address? I want to change this country. I want to change Thailand. I want to start right from the first brick in this country. All the policies that we've had in the past, 
whether be it the agriculturally related, mm. um, you know, social welfare, and so on and so forth. Everything boils down to one simple problem is the quality of the people. Mm. Mm. And that stems from education. Education. We have to go back okay. right to the first step. I want to change the education, to change Thailand. You need to change the people. If you don't start now, mm, mm. 20 years from now, okay. we're going to be sitting here arguing about the same mm. thing, same issue, and we're going to say Thai kids are you know, nowhere near the standard of the ASEAN's uh, mm. children. So we have to start now, today. And um, I really m very much hope that we can do something about that. We, want to ch we have to change So that subject. will be part of your party's platform, improving, restructuring Thai education system. That will be one of my main objective mm. because it might not sound very, you know, it might not be a real hoo-ha, it might yeah. not be a real flashbang, yeah. boom, mm. wow factor, mm. but it's the most crucial element in mm. Thai society. It's the, I think it is the most crucial part of Thailand. If we really want to reshape the future mm. of this country, we need to go back all the way to the beginning. Mm. I mean, my father, one of his dream was to be able to sit in the chair of the education ministry. Unfortunately, he became the prime minister <laughs> and uh, he couldn't go back to become the uh, minister uh, uh, again. And he said, if he becomes a prime minister again, okay. he would not you know, take both the interior and the prime ministership. Okay. He'll be in the education ship instead. All right. So I would like to continue his dream because mm in order to really propel this country forward. We need a better system. Mm. We need to improve the people. So you would want to help fulfill his dream? I am going to continue his dream and, mm. well, continue his legacy. Okay. Also, you have mentioned LGBT issue. Yes. Mm. That would be very crucial as the they policy of your party. Why is that? They are, well, at the moment, one of the most important words that goes around the world is the inclusive society, mm. be it LGBT plus, I call it LGBT plus because now there are so many more letters after the T, you know, so yeah. I call it LGBT plus, even the, the aging society, the older people. So now we are talking about an inclusive society where every single bricks in this country needs to come together mm -hmm. and rebuild this country. LGBT is an important integration into this society because I mean, if you count, that's a third degree of freedom. Anyone we know mm. will be an LGBT. Some of my relatives are LGBT, and they are one of the most talented group of people mm. that anyone I've ever seen. They just need a platform. Mm -hmm. They just need a place to, to, to voice their, their concerns. They need respect, because after all, they are just human beings. You know, I actually feel that they, they, they are being trapped in their own body. You know, so for example, a, 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 um, a, a gay person, he's feel mm. trapped in his own body and, you know, let alone the pressure from the society. Yeah, yeah. So I, we want to give them a say, we want to give them a space in even in the Thai parliament mm. to voice their concern. Mm -hmm. now you have talked about vision, you talk about changes that you're going to uh, introduce to Chat Thai Patana Party. But of course, you know that uh, within the parties, there are many, many veterans, politicians. Of course. Who have been around for years. Of course. So how are you going to convince these people that they need to change? Because many of them are probably as, I mean, so as your age. <laughs> well, when we talk about new generation, when we talk about change, mm. we don't talk about physical change. Mm. They continue to do what they do. Mm. Chatai Patana Party from now on is going to be like a co-op corporation where we have a board of trustees, a board, you uh, know, uh, the, 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 the membership of the boards. And then we have a CEO, CFO who's underneath the board. Okay. And whatever we do, we shall con consult them. And, you know, for example, if I'd like to drive from, from Bangkok to Chiang Mai, there are so many routes, mm. you know. And then it's, it's their job, really, mm. to mm. warn us, to advise us. If you go this route, this will happen. Okay. If you go this route, mm. the pros and cons of what it is. So I strongly believe and I totally believe in the fact that at this point in time, Thailand cannot afford to go forward by just having the new generations. Mm -hmm. mm. Nor we can afford to have just the older faces in Thai politics. We need the synergetic coalition between the two generations mm. Mm -hmm. for us to go forward. Okay. For example, when- and You'll be a bridge between these two. I will do my best to be a bridge between the old and the mm. new. 
I talk about a brick before. Mm. You've seen a, a brick that just came out of a, a furnace. You know, the new ones yeah. are nice and, mm. you know, the edge is sharp, the color's nice, but it's still very brittle mm. compared to those bricks that yeah. are in the, yeah. uh, you know, centuries old okay. pagoda. Mm. It's rusty, it's, okay. you know, it's got all the watermarks mm. and it's been weathered. It's not nice, okay. but it's very tough. Mm. So in order to rebuild this country, we can't afford just to have Oh, I want new bricks. Mm. Mm. I want red bricks. I don't want yellow bricks. Or I want green bricks. I don't want. We can't afford. We don't have the luxury to choose anymore. Mm. In order to rebuild this country back together, we mm. need every single bricks come together, be it a yellow one, a red one, a green one, or whatever, or old or new. Mm. Mm. We need them to build this country back together. Okay. He got some feedbacks on our Facebook live, and he asked you again some comment from Kun Riau SSK. Asked you whether do you believe that new faces in politics can be agent of change? Do you believe that? Will be the catalyst to the change, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because new faces alone will not be able to change Thai politics because we still have the older members of politicians in the system, and their wisdom their experiences are the key elements that in order to for us to go forward, we need to look back and learn from our mistakes. They are just like a huge library of information. We need mm. to learn from them to go forward, you know, a step at a time and not making the same mistakes again. Mm -hmm. So of course, the new phases in politics will be the catalyst to speed that up. And but we need to, the, to consult them. We, need, we still need the senior members of the politicians, the, the old veterans. Uh -huh. Also, I'm just wondering, how do you see the role of women in Thai politics? Because if you see proportion, women, Thai women participate not so much at all, especially I when you compare with other countries. I would love to see more women in, in Thai politics. Mm -hmm. um, we used to have a very beautiful candidate, Kun Bam. <laughs> yeah, I remember now, that. <laughs> who's now uh, married with a few kids already. Try to bring, uh, bring her back? <laughs> I, I think she is happily married ever after. <laughs> I don't think she would come back into the arena anymore. Yeah. But um, the role of, of female politicians is almost as important as a male politician. Mm. But to specifically state it in the Constitution that we need certain proportion of female and male, I think that's a mistake. You don't agree with quota system? I don't. Because mm. when you say male and female, then the LGBT plus will say, hey, I'm neither. I'm neither. Mm. Where am I? So, you know, wh whoever interested in politics can just join. But how would you mobilize more women to join in Thai politics? What do you think hold them back in joining? I think the fact that in order to, to go out campaigning, you know, female tends to be, well, some of the females are more uh, robust than another. Mm. You know, you have to get your down on your hands and knees dirty and all that. And also, the family has to support it. Sometimes Thai people would have the ideas where females, ladies, women have to stay home and have the, the nice and soft image. Well, you know, she needs the support of the family, be it the husband, be it the, 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 the children or the parents. You know, she needs the, the, the support. We do have a few female candidates, you know, uh, women's candidates, and she works, she's been working very, very hard, and she had the support of her family. The, the your party's constituencies are mostly in rural areas, yes. especially in central plains, right? Yes. So why do you think the Chat Thai Patana and previously Chat Thai Party have not been able to appeal to voters in big cities like Bangkok? So what, what do you think, what, what, what is missing? Well, we are missing candidates. Mm. Throughout the Thai, the Chat Thai Party's mm. history, we've always been seen as a rural party. Mm. We have always been seen well, the image of, of Khun Ban Han mm -hmm. has not been very appealing to those in the city. Mm. But then again, there's always two sides to a coin. Mm. Um, you know, sometimes the, the, the difference, the different ideas and thought between the rural and the urban are so much different. The, the divide between the mm. urban and the rural are so much that uh, what I think my father and Chat Thai parties and that the members was trying to do was trying to reduce that gap, mm -hmm. to make that gap smaller by improving the quality of life of those in the rural area mm -hmm. so that in the urban, you know, the gap will be closer and closer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hence it can be seen that we are the rural, <laughs> you know, kind of hillbillies kind yeah, of and thing. And this time around, so how, 
what you plan to do to appeal to young voters, urban voters. Now you have social media. It should be a, a very good instrument. It will be a very, people, yeah. it will be a very good instrument. Mm. Unfortunately, we have to learn how to use it first. <laughs> we need instructions. We need, we need. Come uh, on, your new, your members of new generation of people, you should be able to know how to handle this, <laughs> this uh, modern uh, media I am tools. Not, <laughs> I am not talking about the actual tools of the media itself. I'm talking about the rules and regulations okay. concern re regarding uh, the use of right, these okay, social yeah, media. Yeah, I get that. You know, of course, the, the Facebook, the, the, the Instagram, um, Twitters, and everything, we get that, re re that ready. Okay. Even some of the children nowadays, they use Snapchat. Uh -huh. and, and well, I don't think we're going to use Snapchat. Okay. That's a bit too, uh, uh, okay. too quick for us. Uh, okay. yeah. So those will be your, your instruments in, in, as in well. this election. As well, but you need we need a clear, well, a kind of guidelines first uh -huh. from our meeting tomorrow with the mm. election commission of okay. what can we do and mm. what is not allowed yet. Okay. All right. How would you like to address with the few, the first time voters this time, 18 to 25 years old, right. probably about 6 million or right. more than 6 million. Right. What would you like to tell them? I would to like to tell to them, to, them? To, to sometimes to really think about what they are thinking. Mm. Sometimes some of the youngsters they can be radical, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. The the the, the sen uh, adults say go left, they want to go right. Okay. The, um, the adults say sit down, they want to stand up, <laughs> you know. But they need to understand why they mm. think the way they think first. Don't just do it because of the, you know, what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. Don't be a sheep. Think long and hard. Find the logic behind mm. your thinking. Find the rationale mm. behind your thinking okay. first. Will there be any policies, a platform that would be would appeal? I mean, especially to these groups of people, the young voters? They are going to be the people who run the country, well, 10, 20 years from now. Mm. I want to reform, I want to change the education system. I want these people to be, well, in 1997's constitution, the, uh, the, the constitution drafting committee, when my father drafted it, set them up, it was one of the best CDC this country mm. have ever had. I want to create something along the way, al along that line, mm -hmm. but for education. And I want young people to be in that drafting committee oh. to shape mm. our education forward, how you want your kids to be. I don't want my grandson to go abroad to get a better oh, education. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want my grandson to be in Thailand. I don't want him to go to the US, I don't want to go to England, I, want them to I don't want him to go to Europe. Mm -hmm. I want them to be in Thailand. So the new generations of, uh, of the, the Gen Y and Gen Z will be the one who shaped that. I want them to tell me what they want to see changed mm. in this country. Can your sons and daughter vote this time? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> my daughter <laughs> is 16. My two sons are 14 and 12 and okay. a half. But uh, I want my grandchildren <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to not go abroad. Oh I right. want them to be in Thailand. Uh, uh, yeah. It would be interesting uh, to see the day that a candidate uh, what I would talking face to face with a uh, new generation of voters, talking about your vision about you're going to I mean, build future for them to education. It will, yeah. it will be interesting because we are building a country for them. Mm. So we need to ask those who's going to live in it mm. how you want your house built, mm. not how I want my house built, right. because it's not going to be my okay. house anymore. It's going to be their house, their home. Okay. All the best to you and your party. Thank if you, you succeed much. with uh, reforming education, then it will be good for the country. If it takes not only for your party or for your your your, your votes, but for the country. If it's going to take twenty yeah. years, yeah. it will take twenty years. Mm. But a thousand miles journey starts with the first step. Okay. So All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for joining us. Okay. Okay. So yeah. we tonight we have uh, uh, something special yes. to end this program, right? Yes. Let's take a look at Lucid Sue right now this week. Final days. Yes. <laughs> it's very crowded, mm. perhaps yeah. more crowded than usual because yeah. it's the farewell party. This Sunday, right? It's the last day. Yes, right? the yes, on the 30th open. of September. Mm. Lucid Zoo will have to be closing down before moving to Rangsit area. That's why it's very crowded, particularly this last week. So People just want to feel the atmosphere or the sentiment mm. of Lucid Zoo before the permanent yeah, so closure. Those of you who want to have a last glimpse of this historical place, I mean, you have two more days, three more days to go. Couldn't, you'd like your visit, couldn't, whatever? 
<laughs> I would love to. You should take your, your, your children there. Yes. <laughs> None of them are with me at the moment. <laughs> They're in school abroad, unfortunately. Uh, OK, so we'll leave you with some images, lovely images of Lusitsu. And that's all we have time for for Thai PBS World this Thursday. Thank you again for Kun Wood for joining pleasure. us. Yeah. And we'll come back to see you again next Thursday. Good night. Good night. Good night.